All right, well, this is how I heat my home for free. Um, this is kind of a follow-up video. Somebody had asked me a question about the burners, um, what design I use, because I had a, a horizontal design in my in a short that I made, I don't know, a year ago. Um, but I use a vertical burner now, and uh, I'm gonna kind of take you through the process of what I go through every morning. Well, not every morning. You can, this particular time, I waited 48 hours in between cleanings. Sorry, the sun's in my eyes. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna pull it out, clean it, show you that process, which is really simple. Then I'm going to put it back in the boiler and light it for you. So give me one second and I'll get it out here and show you how that goes. That's that. Now you just take this piece of pipe here. Just a piece of exhaust pipe, nothing fancy. You gotta bust up. Cause what you get is a, uh, this is all the residue from the oil, you know, but that's 48 hours of burning, so not bad. Like I said, I waited two days this time, so a little more build up than normal. Just about got it. One more. There we go. Pretty clean, not sure if you can see in there. But you wanna get it, you know, the cleaner it is, the more efficient it burns. Figured I'd show the whole process, so you know, there's some work involved, but the savings is well worth it. So. Then you just stick it right back in there. Actually, I'll bring you in, show you the burner head. Which again, I'm an exhaust guy, so <laughs> you can see it's got eight holes right here. There's eight holes. There's eight holes here. This one formed on its own over the years. <laughs> Pretty hot in there. Then there's eight more holes up here. Now these holes are 5 16 all the way down and there's four holes on the very bottom of the burner head that are actually just quarter inch and that's just to help vaporize the oil so and the oil line itself comes in here runs all the way through the center of the pipe which goes in through a hole I know the sun's not working with me here, but it goes down and then you get there. So, pretty simple design. 
Um, I'm gonna get the burner head back in real quick and light it. This video's already getting too long. So, <laughs> get that done real quick. Set you back up. And I'll show you how we light it too. Pretty simple. This is leftover stuff from my video yesterday where I was making my own diesel from waste oil. So I'm just going to go ahead and use it to light the stove. Now I'm going to turn the oil on. We're going to go ahead and hook up the blower. I'll bring you in to show you, but this is how I heat my house and my shop. My shop's 1,800 square feet. My house is 1,500 square feet. It does a fine job. It's going a little bigger right now because it's full of homemade diesel, but we can calm it right down here in a few seconds, but yeah. That's how I heat my shop and house through my homemade boiler. Built this three years ago now. It's 500 gallons. It's all homemade. This is my oil storage. I've got plenty of heat for the winter. So yeah, just thought I'd bring you guys along on uh, my daily routine out here. Once this gets uh, simmered down a little bit, I'll show you what it looks like where I run it normally. But well, you can see, not a lick of smoke coming out of that stack. This is how I make it 100% free. I've got solar, wind turbine there, another wind turbine up there, and then more solar along my barn. I don't know, get out here so you can see it a little better. But I've got a lot more solar to go up, but for now, it's doing the trick. So we will let this, uh, well, it's probably already simmering down, so. The burner's kind of loud, that's the only, well, you don't hear it once you get it toned down. I'm hoping you can hear me. But we'll get it calmed down. I'm just adjusting this with this needle valve here. Sorry, the sun is just super bright today. I might have to come back and do this at night so you can truly appreciate how hot this thing is. Just adjust that a little bit. Nothing. But I don't know 
super clean, super hot. And it's saving me about $2,000 a month. So, calling that a win. All right, guys, thanks for that. Hope this was informative. Hope it wasn't too boring or too long. Have a great day. We'll see you in the next one.